Hello Jiwaku. In this video, we will talk about one of the main questions of the geothermal exploration. So what are they? There are three main questions that should be answered in the geothermal exploration. Is the fluid benign? How permeable reservoir? And how hot the reservoir? In this video, we will focus on the geothermometer as one of the tools to estimate the reservoir temperature. The reservoir temperature can be predicted from a geothermometer technique or a possible reservoir analogy to the geological setting. However, until the exploration drilling, reservoir temperature is still uncertain. The geothermometer probably are one of the most important tools in the exploration stage. The principle of the geothermometer is using a concentration of the constituent that relates to the deep temperature. It can be used to estimate the reservoir temperature of the geothermal prospect before any deep wells. The geothermometer generally can be classified into the solute geothermometer and gas geothermometer. The other type of the geothermometer is reported such as the isotope geothermometer and clay mineral based geothermometer. The solute geothermometer usually are more reliable to use especially for the liquid dominated system since it based on the temperature dependent mineral fluid equilibrium. A solute geothermometer can divide based on the solubility and the ratio of the concentration. Geothermometer based on the solubility is depend on the absolute concentration like a silica geothermometer. The concentration can be affected by a physical process like a boiling and dilution. Geothermometer based on the ratio of the concentrations make this type is less sensitive to change to the boiling or dilution. The example of this geothermometer is normally using sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium concentration ratio in various relationships. A solute geothermometer approach can be applied for the collected sample from the well and thermal manifestation such as hot spring. The exploration is usually using a sample from the hot spring. However, not all hot springs are valid for geothermometer. The most reliable solute geothermometer sample is collected from the boiling chloride spring. It is assumed the fluid is rise to the surface rapidly with the minimum rock water interaction. And then the second type is the gas geothermometer. It can be used if the springs are not available because the shallow groundwater table is deep in the subsurface. The water from the spring is not in the measured condition, and the geothermal system is vapor dominated. The gas geothermometer is dependent on the gas gas equilibria and gas mineral equilibria. The example of the gas geothermometer usually based on the gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfate, hydrogen nitrogen and methane. The general assumption of the geothermometer is the existence of the mineral fluid equilibrium concentration at the depth. This concentration is must be preserved during the passage of the fluid to the surface. In conclusion, the geothermometer is an important tool to estimate reservoir temperature. However, the interpretation of the geothermometer data should be done carefully and should always be kept in mind that the geothermal fluid are coming from the deep reservoir, where the most important process is the water wrong interactions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch another video about the geothermal that will educate you in the Jiwa channel. See you in the next video.